Hello, visionary, and welcome back to our channel. This is Raquel of Raquel and Davidian Unleash Your Genius. And in this video, we are going to be discussing one of my most requested topics, which is profile. So if you have a line five, this video is for you. Or of course, if you have somebody you know that is a line five, you will learn a lot about them and it's imperative that you know how to deal with a line five in your life. So I will see you on the inside. Welcome to today's video on profile. So we're talking about the line numbers today. And in particular, we're going to be looking at line five. So if you have a line five in your chart, this is for you. But you have to understand everybody's going to have a line five somewhere. So these keynotes will probably assist each one of you while learning your chart. The lines are part of the deep fractal of your uniqueness. The profile is how the world sees you. So oftentimes people refer to this as your costume or you know, what you're putting on and, and really how the world is seeing this costume. So the question is, how does this profile or public role affect your business? So the profile is often referred to as your public role. And the public role is a significant part of how you operate, how people perceive and interact with you. It represents a quantum of your conscious self and your unconscious self. So it's both the red and the black. And it provides a path to living out your unique contribution, your life work, and unleashing your success code. So this is kind of a fun image that you may have seen it cir circulates a lot in the human design world. And basically what it's showing you is how unique each of our gates are. And so if you look at the gates here, each one of the gate has six lines. It has six colors, six tones, and five bases. So each one of these gates, so even if you have a gate that's similar to someone else, each one of the gate has 1,080 potential threads and you have 26 gates. So that's 69,120 potential threads, right? So when we look at beneath the gate and we look at profile and we're starting to look at these different aspects of your chart, what we're really doing is celebrating your uniqueness, all the many shades and the different unique aspects to your chart. The neutrino feed goes through the base. It goes through the tone, the color, and then it reaches the line before it hits the final expression of the gate. Profile is always a signpost. The more you resonate to your profile, the healthier you, you are, and the more successful you're going to be, and the closer you are to being yourself. So this is pretty exciting and why I thought this video is really important. So today I'm going to be talking about the line five, and each one of the line numbers creates a texture to the hexagram. Okay, so here's the neutrino expression. So the neutrino feed moves through and then we have, it sort of is like a prism of the line colors of the gate. So in other words, if you have the gate one, you might have it in the line one, line two, line three, line four, line five, or line six. And then all of the keynotes for each line number, they're gonna be similar keynotes no matter where this line number is showing up in your chart. The six keynotes here is the line one is the detailed authority, the investigator, line two, potential talent or hermit, line three, determined discoverer or the martyr, line four, influential networker or the opportunist, Line five is the practical marketer, the heretic, and line six is the objective leader or the role model. So today we're going to be talking about the heretic, just the line five. So you can see that you might have the line five if you're a three five or a five one or a five two. So there are various different places or a two five. Okay. So there are various different places that you will have a five. You'll notice here, this is just kind of a fun little chart that shows you the percentages of the 
the combination, the one, three, four examples, 14.57 percent of the population. And these ones here, the one, four, three, six, five, two, the two, five, four, one, six, three, these are a little bit more rare. So there are going to be a smaller number of people with those combinations, okay? The combinations of how the profiles work. So where you're going to see this in your chart is this is the sun and the earth and the of the personality side here and the sun and the earth of the design side. So you'll notice that it looks like the point six here and the point three, this would be a profile six, three. So that's where you're finding these line numbers and where you find your profile or your public role. And then if you notice here with all of your gates, there are other line numbers, see? So in this particular example here in the Pluto, there is a line five. So this line five, the heretic would influence this gate, but primarily we're looking at profile, the six three as having most of the impact when it comes to profile because it's 70% of the neutrino feed in the sun and the earth. So think about that for a minute is how much influence the sun and the earth has on you being an earthling. <laughs> the profile is going to have the most impact on you. So no matter how many other line fives you have in the rest of your gate, the profile with the five in it will be the most profoundly affected by this intel. So today we're talking about the heretic. So this is the fifth line. It's the upper trigram, which means it's transpersonal. So the transpersonal means that the karma of this profile plays out with other people, as opposed to the personal of the one, two, and three that kind of plays out within yourself. So there's kind of a sense more of the loneliness. I wouldn't say so much lonely as like personal inner development within yourself for the lines one, two, and three and transpersonal uh, karma for the five, the four, five, and six that you can see play out with other people. And so the heretic is also known as the practical marketer when you're looking at it through the business lens. So today we are talking about heresy and the heretic. So if you've got the line five, you know what I'm talking about. This is for you. All right. So oftentimes people see you or want you to be the savior. And then you're torn off the pedestal when you can't live up to the projection field. So they're looking up to you to save them. And yet what they're doing is they're expecting you to do it in a certain way. They're expecting you to behave in a certain way. And when you disappoint them or you don't live up to what they had expected of you, then they knock you down. They drop that little arrow and they kick you off of the pedestal. And this is incredibly painful for a line five. Line five, you are never properly seen by others. This is the projection field. It's a really incredibly hard thing for a line five. No one really knows you. You are a great mystery to many people. It's very hard for other people to understand this. It's very hard for people to admit that they've been projecting upon you. And it's a very challenging dance when you're a line five to realize this. In the human design world, we laugh about this a lot, that the line fives are projected upon, then burned at the stake, and then run out of town. And they say you might find a bunch of line fives out in Sedona or out in the desert somewhere who are seeking refuge after they've left the cities they just came from. But, you know, really, you can see line fives anywhere. And oftentimes they will laugh about either getting kicked out of their high school or kicked out of town or run out of their offices or just, you know, people making them so uncomfortable, kicking them off the pedestal, shooting them down, um, projecting onto them. 
and leaving town and finding other places to live. This is definitely a huge part of why I left San Francisco. I was projected upon by a huge community of people and it was so incredibly uncomfortable not being able to be seen properly, getting burned at the stake. And then it took me many, many years to recuperate from that. And many line fives that I've spoken to have had similar experiences. So I want to hear from you. Are you a line five? Have you been chased out of town? Were you projected upon? Let me know in the comments below. So, you know, people just usually do not see you and they're simply holding up a mirror and what they notice about you are things about themselves that they just can't accept. You know, line fives, they, you, you, you just might be a little stressed and paranoid after having been burned at the stake one time. And the reason I use such a strong language as burned at the stake is because it really is incredibly painful. And like I said, this has definitely happened to me often. And it's definitely a very extreme and painful experience. So the line fives are also very seductive people, and this helps with the heresy. You know, they are heretics. They are here to bring forward opinions that are not popular. So if you are in a field that has a general idea of how things should be run, you may be the one to challenge that idea. You might be the one to bring forward a, a different way of looking at the topic. So let me just share this with you. The heresy definition is opinion profoundly at odds with what is generally accepted. And this is intense because a lot of line fives, they have this heresy and they don't know they're a line five. Unless you're really learning and studying human design, you may not really understand how this is operating within you. And so, you know, particularly if you're a projector and you're speaking and you're leading and you're teaching and all of these things that come with the keynoting of the line five, you may really easily get projected upon if you're not waiting for the invitation or you're not responding, you're not living the proper strategy and inner authority. The more you live your design and the more you're able to live your strategy and your inner authority, the less you will be projected upon. Line five, you are here to you for the universalization of knowledge, to universalize what you know. So if you're taught something that is on the fringe, you're here to universalize the knowledge, bringing it forward in a practical way to large numbers of people um, who, who will benefit from your teaching. You are universalizing the knowledge. You're here to teach and to be leaders in the practical world. You'll have a sense that you know, I don't want to do that if it's not practical, you know, even if it's a spiritual knowledge or something that is out there, your way of being is to take it and make it practical so that you can use it in a job, you can use it in a career, you can use it to make money, you can use it in a way that someone will understand it every day. Practicality is very, very important for the line fives. The line five's wisdom is often designed for people they don't know. This is a big one for me. And I do think it is important that sometimes your greatest teachings, your greatest wisdom is revered and seen by those people who don't know you. And those people who are a little outside of the inner circle, it's for a wider net and sometimes that's a hard pill to swallow, but it is a beautiful knowledge once you can really embody it because you stop trying to provide your knowledge and your wisdom to those people around you. And they, they might not fully receive what you're here to give the world. So it's good to know. So this is the teacher, the fixer, someone who can get the word out in a practical way 
And why in business, we also refer to this as the practical marketer, someone who can bring the intel to the world in a way that people can understand and use it practically in their lives. It's a powerful resonance. It's a powerful role that the line fives can bring forward into the work that they do. As I stated in the beginning of this video, Ra Uruhu talks about if you really relate to this information, that means you're you're on track. Now, of course, if you have the five in your design side, meaning it's on the red side of your chart, it's going to be a little bit harder to put your finger on this because it's in the subconscious. So for example, a three, five may not relate to the five as much as the five, one, when it's more in your personality. And that's something that you, uh, you know about yourself a little bit more readily. However, the deeper you go into your experiment, the deeper you go into this journey, the more the profile will start to show up for you and the deeper and deeper you will resonate with it. So I'll look forward to hearing about your experience as a line five. And I'll end today with a quote from Ra. Your specialness lies in differentiation. Everything about a rave body graph, everything about your human design is understanding that your specialness lies in the differentiation. To be different is to be correct as yourself. In this world of homogenization, in this world of trying to fit into a box, this is so radical. There is, after all, nobody like you. There never will be and cannot be. You are the only example of you. And that as long as you're trying to be like something else, that example is lost and the totality suffers for its loss. So Ra Uruhu, the original heretic, he was a line five and definitely exemplified that in all of his teachings. So I hope this was powerful for you line fives out there. I wanted to go a little bit deeper into this because I know many of you have suffered and have dealt with this projection field and the intensity of the line five. So go forth and spread your unique genius.